guys welcome back to another update here i want to start with covering solana here we had a beautiful bounce here from the 0 0.31 as i mentioned in my previous video as you can see here i said this area here is gonna be of great support and that's exactly what happened we got a pullback here uh, late saturday uh, evening uh, sorry saturday morning and we're gonna pull back here on solana to the 0 0.31 exactly here in the demand zone i had and this is what i teach in my private discord uh, is how to use the 0 0.31 fibonacci is the most important fibonacci tool so right now solana has broken these highs and we have the major fourth wave down here and right now we're going up in the fifth wave we predict the exact top and right now i do believe there's a big possibility the bottom is seen so if we check here on the shorter time frame it looks like we have some kind of one smaller one two three four and right now we're going for the fifth so what can we expect for the next solana resistance if we go away from the log scale you can see here i think i have two pitch workshop you can see here how this acted as great resistance this median line so if you come here on the weekly I've had this pitch for, for a long time and we got here at some resistance on Solana. If we go here on the log scale, you can see we still haven't reached it. So the next target for Sol Solana will be this major pitchfork. Something else important to keep in mind uh, is if we take a pitchfork from all the ways from these lows down here to these highs here and then to these lows here. So this pitchfork I really like as well because there are algorithms looking here to sell. You can see here on the four hour, if we zoom in, how it acted as perfect resistance here, uh, not only with this uh, block over here, but also this median line here. So this acted, you can see how algorithms are taking profit and the next pitchfork we're now aiming is the original. So I do expect Solana to start climbing very, very soon. Uh, as I said, I think the bottom is in probably because it's still Sunday, we're gonna get some sideways movement before we're gonna go higher. So my next target is this median line here, which is around 147. I do expect we're gonna have some small pullback, but the biggest pullback is gonna come from 160. And of course, then there is a possibility that that Solana goes much, much higher to this modify shift, which is around 280. Uh, but this would be more towards the end of the bull market. So this is something to keep an eye on. Uh, but it's always good to get some of these healthy, healthy dips for the altcoins in bull markets. Here, if we go back to the total uh, market cap of all altcoins, we are still, look. it looks like we're gonna get the weekly close above the last resistance line. So this is something very, very bullish. Something to do keep in mind is that we have one, two, three, four weekly green candles in a row. As I've been saying, there's no resistance here on the left side. So this means that price will very, very quickly go up. But we have to pay attention. There can be some uh, uh, pullbacks on the way up because of course, nothing goes straight up in a line uh, ever. So it's always good. Like even here, we look at previous bull markets. You can see we have these huge wicks and red candles on the way up. So I do expect us at some point to get a red, red candle, but I do believe that also are gonna rally now the next week. Uh, let's see next next i want to check link people request requested me to cover link so i want to start by covering link here so link here is one of my favorites as i've been saying i have this huge pitchfork on the weekly and we're gonna reach it 100 percent of course i never say 100 but 99 percent in my opinion 32 link is going i've been saying for forever if you've been following me right now here on the shorter time frame we have a one two three four right now uh we had a pullback here market dumped uh, yesterday just typical pullback, nothing special. I do believe we're still in the fifth wave. So either the bottom is here. I like these big wicks because this wash, washes out a lot of leverage long. So we're gonna continue probably sideways before then we'll go to our next target is 23.6. This is gonna be a good place to take some profits on link. But then if you have a long from down here, you can keep it all the way to 32. That's gonna be a huge target for link. Something else I want to cover here is Uniswap. People ask me to cover a uh, uni swap sorry let me so uniswap is something very very interesting it has started taking off lately here so if we, this is a uh, uni usd so if you go here on the weekly have this major pitchfork and the rules how this pitchfork work is if this low here does not get broken like we here we did not break this low here this means there are at least an 80 percent probability that will go up to this median line and that's exactly what we're seeing here on uniswap as soon as i saw the price uh, coming back inside here on this pitchfork i knew that we're gonna go straight up to the median line so uniswap looks very very bullish the only resistance i see here is here a small uh, demand block something like this i would draw it of course we had this as a small resistance we went through it and the next small resistance is here but we already got weak through it so do you expect maybe some more sideways movement here on the daily it looks really good uh, we have some kind of smaller time frame one two three four right now do you believe the next fifth row is going to be around 16 then maybe a pullback and then we're going to go up to 23 and if you're interested to get more specific charts and trades 
how to enter, how to exit, join my free uh, link down below to my Discord. Uh, something else I also want to cover is here, uh, people ask me to cover DOT. DOT is something I'm super bullish on right now. So if we go here again on the weekly, I have this massive pitchfork, and as you can see, we had this very impulsive leg higher. So do expect there's 99% DOT is going to $14. And as I wrote in my Discord and Telegram yesterday, if you sign up with a link below to my Blowfin, uh, through my Blowfin link down below, and you open a long on DOT, just 1x leverage. And if DOT does not reach $13, I'll personally send you $500 of my own money because that's how confident I am that DOT will reach $13. So this is basically free money for you. All you have to do is sign up to Blowfin, make a deposit, go along DOT. If you lose, uh, I'll send you $500. If you win, then enjoy the profits. There's nobody else that does this. You can feel free to check my Telegram, um, link to my Telegram down below for more for more details. But basically, all I have to do is sign up through Blowfin, my link below, go along and enjoy the free profits. I've never been so sure of something else in my life. You can see here on dot, we have no resistance here on the left side. Let me just make it. Uh, blue here so we have broken the last resistance you can see here how we tested this week here but this means basically we're about to skyrocket of course we're not gonna go there straight this is the weekly time frame so it, we might take a couple of weeks until uh, mid april maybe even I, I doubt it will go until may but at least uh, it could take until april before we reach this target on dot let me see what else people are something else people have uh, requested is to cover ing this i covered in my previous video as i said I really like this pitchfork that we have here. I've drawn this pitchfork all the way to the lows, uh, to the start of the bull market, the smaller time frame pitchforks. Right now we're in some kind of weird fifth wave. The fourth wave has finished, or technically you could still call this fourth wave since we're doing some sideways action. But I do believe the fifth wave is gonna start and we're gonna go to 69 or 68, depending, or even 70, depending when we reach it. But first we have this smaller time frame pitchfork. You can see how perfectly price has respected this pitchfork here we had like support here here you'll, you see how price goes outside then back back inside and we still have not yet reached the median line and this is very bullish with the crash here or the correction here last night so you can see how perfectly price bounced from this uh, outside uh, line here so this is something very bullish i do expect inj to take off very very quickly since algorithms are waiting here to sell this will act like this liquidity so we're gonna go climb higher here's gonna go a good place to take some profits probably then gonna have a pullback and then we're gonna continue higher towards 70. So I'm super bullish on INJ as well. Uh, all these coins are covered right now. I do exp I'm super bullish long term and even short term because if we check the total market cap of altcoins, as I've said, there's no resistance. Of course, we're gonna get pullbacks on the way, but there's no resistance here on the left side. Plus we have this major pitchfork here that we're gonna reach. So we're easily gonna go to eight, 800 billion market cap. Right now we're only at 600 billion market cap for the total altcoins. Something else I quickly, quickly want to cover is Bitcoin. Here, if we go on the log scale, I have the from the 2018 lows to the highs. And then here I've had this pitchfork for a long time. Right now, Bitcoin is here at heavy median line resistance. I like how, how strongly Bitcoin has been holding up. So I do expect Bitcoin to keep this week around 60,000, uh, maybe even 59,000 we can get down to. Uh, level wall alts rally but of course the most important is that bitcoin still has higher to go here if we go on the log scale and we'll go on the modify shift bitcoin still has higher to go at around 68,000 before we get a bigger correction i believe but right now this pitchfork is important to keep in mind since uh, it's really stopping bitcoin from going any further up and that's understandable because if you go here on the daily time frame we're basically since the fourth wave down here we're basically on straight up so of course bitcoin is would be due for some kind of correction or at least sideways sideways movement so right now all focus is on altcoins and not bitcoins of course uh, then ethereum also is gonna rally very very quickly since we similar on ethereum we have no uh, resistance here of course we might get some pullbacks during the week but uh, Overall, most, most altcoins have uh, pitchfork higher targets and the pitchforks, uh, they can't wait forever, just, just go sideways because then the target gets too big. So price really has to start uh, keep moving very, very quickly. So if you enjoy my uh, updates, please uh, join my Telegram or my Discord link down below. I post on both channels updates uh, if, if you like uh, for trade signals, etc. Otherwise, please subscribe, leave a like and I see you again tomorrow. I hit it the most, is no misses Something like fishing a barrel, it's no different Blindfold on me, I still got the